Hello there. How are you? Good afternoon. It's Tuesday. That means it must be Torah Tuesday. How cool is that? Now, this week is Shalach. What's going on? Oh, a lot of stuff is going on. I want to tell you a story. Another story. I like telling stories. All right? Let's tell me what you think of this story. The advanced team found themselves deep in the unknown territory. They were the chosen dozen, the best of the best, and it was their job to scout and report. They found a rich and abundant land, water as clear and fresh as they could imagine, but a nagging feeling came over the group. One after the other, they looked at each other and couldn't quite put their finger on it, but something was wrong. Farther and farther they ventured until there it was, an obstacle, an obstacle, so big and so overwhelming, 10 of the 12 brave men gave up in despair. Only two of the team could have even imagined going on. They had to convince the others it was worth even trying. They tried to go around, no luck. They tried to go over, no luck. Could they force their way through? No force wouldn't work either. Hundreds of thousands of people counted on their success. Failure simply wasn't an option. The elite team started to lose faith in their mission and as the time went by the obstacle became bigger and success seemed slimmer. Their imagination started to run wild and they encountered giants. As their despair grew, so did the obstacle in front of them. Finally, the team started to withdraw into themselves. A battle started to dwell within each and every one of the team members. As each person fought with their own demons and concerns, the outside obstacle started to subside. As each team member gained control or perspective of themselves, it became obvious to the team that they not only could proceed, but conquer the obstacle in front of them. Once each team member looked into themselves and found and made peace inside themselves, the obstacle all but faded away, leaving only that tingling sensation tugging at the back of each and every team member's mind. Did God really need the elite 12 to scout out the land of Canaan? Why didn't God just give the children of Israel the land? Why make them wait another whole generation? Difficult questions, but one very simple answer. God wants us, no, God requires us to think for ourselves. We are not mindless pawns. We have to feed ourselves physically and spiritually. We cannot depend on someone else to tend to all our needs. Just like the children of Israel wandering the desert for generations, we have to choose responsible leaders. We have to think for ourselves and make our own decisions. Then we will be worthy of what God has given us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Like always, keep those comments and likes coming. And if there's anything I can do for you, just give me a holler. Otherwise, I'll see you next week, Torah Tuesday. Hey, have a good one.